show you how to make a blueberry pineapple loaf up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. Ooh, She's bringing the Trailer Park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. To the Park fans, it's Jolene Sugar Baker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, it's definitely summertime out there, and it sure is hot, and it's definitely berry season because I'm seeing all sorts of berries available at the store and one of them is blueberries and I know some of you like to go pick them but it's much too hot for me to do that. I find them on sale and I freeze them and sometimes just pick them up like I did today and we're gonna make a great loaf kind of cake I guess kind of a pound loaf I don't know it's just great over coffee and it's my blueberry pineapple loaf yes that's right it uses canned pineapple too and it's so easy to make I'm gonna show you how to make it up next I'll be right back Welcome back. Making my blueberry pineapple loaf is really simple and today I'm using my stand mixer but I'm pretty sure you can mix it by hand. And this is just a perfect use for that loaf pan that you've got hiding back in your cabinet and it makes a great loaf cake. And first up I've got 3 4 cup of regular sugar that we're just going to pour right on into the bowl just like that. And one egg. So get that together. I like brown eggs. We've talked about that before. So go ahead and put one egg in there. And you need two tablespoons of melted butter. So go ahead and pour that in there and cream this together and get that going. There we go. We've creamed it together. Now we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract right on into the bowl. Just like that. This recipe calls for pineapple juice and you also drain the actual um, crushed pineapple and if you were going to use that in the mixture you only get about a one-fourth cup out of that and you actually need three-fourths cup so I just use some out of the can so I pour that right on into the bowl just like that and we're going to mix that around just a little bit. Now, we all know that sifting together all your dry ingredients would probably be the best thing, but usually I don't have the time. So I've got a half teaspoon of regular salt that goes right on into the mixture, just like that, and two teaspoons of baking powder go right on into the mixture, just like that. And now we need two cups of regular flour, and I'm going to pour that in slowly while we mix to get that going. There we go. Now we have our base mixture here and we have to add the other ingredients which are a half cup of blueberries and make sure that there are no stems in them because you have to pick through them. So go ahead and dump them in just like that. A half cup of crushed pineapple that you've drained off. So that goes right on in there. And a half cup of your favorite nuts. Today I'm using hazelnut. So go ahead and just dump those in there and give that a mix around. There we go. There's our mixture with the blueberries and nuts in there. And it's so pretty. It looks very wholesome. Now we need an 8x4 large loaf pan. There we go. I've got this one right here. And I'm going to take some cooking spray and just spray it out just like that. And we're going to pour our mixture just right on into the loaf pan. So go ahead and use a spatula and just get it right on in there. There we go. And I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And this is going to bake for about an hour. So you're going to have to keep an eye on it after about that time. And use a toothpick test to make sure that it's okay. 
And there we go, we've got our batter in the loaf pan. Now we're gonna pop it in the oven for about an hour, just like I said. So let's go ahead and pop it in now. Set your timer. And there you have it, my blueberry pineapple loaf. And look how pretty it is inside with all those blueberries and the nuts. And you can kind of see the pineapple still. But it turns out with a nice loaf, that you'll look all fancy cutting it for your friends over coffee. And look at that, so pretty. And I can't wait to try this piece. So let's go ahead and dive on into this. You can make a glaze or a frosting if you want. Maybe a lemon frosting would be good on this. But let's give a taste to see what this tastes like. And let's get a piece. Mmm! I taste the fresh blueberries and the crunch of the nuts and the tang of the pineapple mmm and it has a nice texture sure would be good over coffee mmm this is a really good loaf and it, I, I think it's good without the icing I know I'm an icing fan but mmm that is so good I hope you get a chance to make my blueberry pineapple loaf and if you do send me pictures at jolinesugarbaker at gmail.com don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. Add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm there too. And of course, add me on Google+. Plus. I'm there too. There'll be some more cooking shows right around the corner, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button wherever it's moved to. So go ahead and subscribe. And I'll be back real soon. I love y'all, and I hope you enjoy my blueberry pineapple loaf. I'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide.